door we open it. She believed that after today's sermon that those doors, the power in the resurrection of Jesus Christ, the key of Jesus, the son of David, we open those doors, you enter to that miracle. I want you to send a big hallelujah. <laughs> Father, we thank you for today's summer. I thank you for the way you want to liberate your children from the closed doors. I appreciate your holy name in Jesus' name. Everybody say, Salvation belongs to our God. Stood upon the throne. I love the Lamb. Holy, holy, holy is the Lord of hosts. The whole earth is full of his glory. Everlasting gospel must be preached to them that dwell on earth, to every nation, kindred, tongues and people. Fear God, give glory to him, for the hour of his judgment is come. Worship him, that men heaven and earth, and the sea, and the fountains of water. We pray the whole world repent. For the kingdom of heaven is at hand. For the kingdom of heaven is at hand. Our Lord's prayer, our Father, who has in heaven, and of the time, the kingdom of God, the kingdom of the earth, and it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive us our trespasses against us. And lead us into temptation, deliver us from all evil, for that is the kingdom, the power, and the glory, forever and ever. Amen. Heavenly blessings in Christ Jesus. Amen. You know, this is our last prayer. It's very important. You know how it happened in the Bible when they came to Jesus, teach us how to. And when Jesus taught them how to pray, what did he teach them? Our last prayer. So this is the prayer that Jesus taught. And if you go and read the meaning of that prayer, sit down, concentrate. You will see the whole problem you have in the world is inside a prayer. When you pray it every day with all your heart and tears, you are, you are free. Father, we thank you as I'm about to hear your word. The topic of someone today is talking about free from same problems. Free from same problems. As we are going to do three today, someone God is going to free you. Any problem you get from sin, that we are going to be free today in Jesus' name. Amen. Father, we thank you as we your word. We appreciate your holy name. We appreciate your majesty. Be that was what in Jesus' name. Then you are sin against you. Anything that you are sin that make not to answer, have mercy and forgive. That's why you brought your son, Jesus, so that things can be moving. And put that and credit the righteousness of our Lord Jesus in our lives and the talent so that he give us his abundance. Remember your children, your name. Father, you are the words of your hand, the potter, where the clay. Do not forsake your words. All has sin and God not. The glory. Our righteousness is like a pitiful rag. When you look at, look at iniquities, who will stand with no body? For the house that's why I push just to cleanse us with the blood. Make us to be pure, pure and holy. Let the world that we are going to hear today fall on good ground. Give them hundredfold. Not, no one will fall on stony ground or on the winter ground. It will fall on the good ground so that we get hundredfold of blessings. So that at last day we have the grace to meet you on the cloud on the last day. In Jesus' name we decree. Amen. Free from problems, substance problems. Because if you go from Genesis to Revelation, you will see the causes of problems of sin. Starting from Israelites till now, sin is the genesis of problems. Sin is the genesis of pain. Disobedience is the genesis of problems. What brain problems is sin? Israelites do all their time. Anyway, they sin against the Lord. God will do what? Sell them. You will sell them. How do you sell How God does sell people? No, they know that God sell people. Yes. He sell you to the hands of your enemies that will prepare you. Yes. Until you repent, then he will recover you back. He sell them to their enemies. The enemies will fight them, kill them many years. They will say, oh God, please help us, help us, help us. Then you send the deliverer. This is happening now. When you sin that God is not the hand over to spirit us back, prepare you. Hand over letting talk to us. You will know somebody to remember you at home, prepare you until you come back. Then you will eat yourself, he will recover you back. So we are going to, as we are going to look to this, open to the book of Judges for, for you to know the sermon today, God is going to use when you meditate on it. You will know where problems come so that you know how to tackle your problems. Judges for one. Bible said, and the children of Israel again did that which was evil in the sight of Jehovah. When Ehud was dead. And Jehovah saw them into the hand of Jabez, the king of Canaan. Can you say God can sell somebody? He said up to now, when you commit nonsense, he said you hand over to marine spirits. Okay. 
you are disobeying me, they go pepper you. That's why I love God when you ask for forgiveness. He will, he does, I tell you about to marry. We give you power, follow you, eh? Fight that marine again, they, they will die when you ask for forgiveness. When you go back to say, he hand you up again. One woman from Mulet go preparing you. When you come back to him, then he will help you again. Yeah, you fight us and win them. That is his way, so that you know the word of God today. Bible says, and Jehovah saw them into the hand of Jabez, king of Canaan. Where he sold them because they're safe, so they will fight them. And Bible says, that reigned in Hazor, and the captain of whose host was Caesar, who dwelt in the harrows of the Gentiles. And these Gentiles seen as them. You know, we are the Gentiles, but we are not Israelites in Christ. Jesus. So without Gentiles, that's our people that don't believe in God. And the children of Israel cry unto Jehovah because the pest was too much. You know what? We make you to know that you are under punishment. Problems, pest. Because if God didn't make Israelites to cry, will they ask for forgiveness? No. If God didn't prepare the Israelites, would they have forgiveness? It's pains. That's why God, when you have problems, you check yourself. You have committed one sin. Go and make reconcile with God. You see how the problem will be solved. And when the punishment of the Israelites was too much, it was too much because he prepared the way way. The punishment was too much and the children of Israel cried out to Jehovah. For he had 900 chariots of iron and 20 years. He mightly oppressed 20 years the children of the Israel. They cried. For you to know where problem comes. When the Israelites are enjoying, you know that they are not sinning against the Lord. They are obeying him. Obeying the commandments of God. But any time you will see that Israelites are in peace, they have committed sin. They have disobeyed. And we are the spiritual Israelites. So when you see yourself in a pain, check yourself. Because when you are crying Jesus, God will not allow you to cry. Though I will say many are the affliction of the righteous, but God, he knows how to allow you to cry, cry long, 20 years. Because any problem that makes you to cry long, long, check yourself. You not allow you to cry long when you are crying Jesus. The Bible says when they cried. And why, why I like God so much, you see, he always sent a deliverer. He cannot come down from heaven and deliver you direct. He sent the prophet, he used his talents to deliver. Many a times the Israelites disobeyed. There was a time he used Moses, there was a time he used uh, Jeremiah, there was a time he used Deborah, there was a time he used Gideon, there was a time he used Joshua. Many people, he has many, uncountable. Jerubabel, many of them, to deliver the Israelites. So when they cried, and what happened? They were going to look on to four to nine to see what happened to have to deliver them. For you to see many things you are suffering because when you are holy, spirit husband cannot enter. When you are holy, when they send you from home, they will, when they come to you, they will run. When you are holy, projection will not get you. When they come and see fire, they will run. But when they come and see the place very empty, they will enter. That's why we treated someone like that day. When evil spirit is gone out of a man after deliverance, they will go where? In the dry places, seeking a place they will not see. Dry places means it's too dry for them. They will check all the children of God that has fire, that are holy. When they go, they can't enter, it's too dry for them. They will say, let us return again to that body where I was cast out. And then they come back to you and see you sin. Bible says when they see garnished means you clean it for them, very, very to, for them to come and enjoy. They will say, oh yes, this body that I've gone out, okay, it's very, very comfortable for me. Bible says, you go and do what? Invite how many? Seven. More what? Wicked spirit. When they come back, what will happen? The condition becomes worse than the beginning. This is what is happening, what is still happening now. That evil spirit that check the body and go and invite, is the same thing when God sees you say, He will hand you over, He will sell. That's why I like God so much. When He sends you into the hands of your enemy to recover from you, when you repent, He will empower you to recover you back. That's why I like him so. He will give you power to fight them. That's why the kingdom of that doesn't matter anybody to repent. Because when you repent, they die in trouble. Because all the things they touch on you when you are a sinner, when you repent, God will give you the power. Hey, it will prepare them. That's why they are afraid for someone to repent. Because he will get, he's the same person that's powered them to fight you. When you battle of forgive them, God will help you. You will see how God helps you to overcome. And next said, 
When they cry unto the Lord, there is a woman of God, a judge, a judge, that is a judge in Israel, as a prophet, they call Deborah. Because any every anybody, any stage he uses different verses, any stage he this time it was Deborah. And what happened? He told him Deborah, he wants to use Deborah to go and deliver the Israelites. And when Deborah, when they came to report, and Deborah said unto Barak, this is not he can't say to Barak, I will surely go with thee. Because why did Barak say why why did why did he say that he shall surely go with thee? We open build eight, 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 eight. I think put eight, eight. Because I was putting he said that met Barak said that he Deborah said we go with him. Barak told Deborah. When Deborah told them that God said that they we he will use her to fight for them and they will overcome those people and he will set them free. What did Barak say in it? And Barak said unto Deborah. If thou will go with me, I will go. If thou will not go with me, I will not go. Why? Because God empowered the prophets to deliver. You can't deliver yourself. That's why you have a judge, you have a pastor, you have a prophet. You, if, if you want to do it by yourself, you cannot do it by yourself. That's why Barak told the Barak, if you go with me, I will go. Because the Barak knows he cannot do it except with the assistance of the prophet of God. Or of God. But if you go with me, I will go. Because God always uses somebody for the deliver. He cannot come direct. That's why the Bible says, when the evil spirit didn't come go out, when the, when the disciples of Jesus were casting off one demon, they casted out several times the demon didn't go. They came to Jesus and said, privately, why did we cast out this demon? Jesus said, because you have have faith, and this kind does not go out except by fasting and prayer. That's why you need to go to church, because this, there are evil spirits that are this kind. Not evil spirit that can go out without fasting. There are people that have the evil spirit that is called he, this kind. Jesus said this kind. So this kind, you fast and pray. And there are grace given to servants of God to fast that you don't have. have. And there is a level of fasting that can cause that with you can, even if you do try to not go out. You need a deliverer. That's why you need a deliverer. God uses someone. Even if you start your home and fast one year, it might not be free. Because there are a level of pastors, fastos. Prophet, the first thing I do, if I explain to you how I do fast, even if a man, you say, he said, I want as a call. He gives the special grace to fast. He gives the special grace to pray. He gives the special grace. That's why you need a deliverer. You have to be careful at what you say. And Bible says, Barak said, if thou go with me, I will go. If thou go with me, I will not go. And what happened at night? Open tonight. And she said, I will surely go with thee. Notwithstanding, the journey that taketh not be of honor, he told her, him that this journey is for the honor of God, not their own honor. Because we are all, they are doing all these things to give God glory. For Jehovah will sell Caesar into the hand of a woman. You have seen again. That Jehovah that saw the Israelites in the side of Caesar, we send them back to the Israelites. Through who? Deborah. And Deborah arose and went with Bera to Kadesh. That's why. When you come back, those evil spirits be allowed to touch on you. Then they will sell them to you. You will prepare them. He give you power. When you say fire, that drop. He said, fire, but the water will shoot. Because you have come back to God. And what happened again? 24. What happened finally on 24? And 24 says. Verse 24. And the hand of children of Israel did what? Prevailed. To tell you, when you come back to Christ, when he give you power to fight them, you will do what? Prevail. Prevail means overcome. You have victory. And the hand of the children of Israel prevailed more and more. You prevail and lose your blessings. Because when you prevail, those kingdom has touched on you when you are saved. They have it most be uncomfortable of your blessing. You have to lose the release it fast. Because that time you come to Christ, you are very, very hot. When you say lose, they will just they will just cut the rope. Everything. Wow, come down. 
Because that time God has powered and powered you, have sold them back to you. That's why the kingdom of darkness sees God as very, very dangerous. The right? They fear God too much. Because that's why they don't want anybody to be in Christ. Because when you're in Christ, your own has finished. And I will say, until they have destroyed the kingdom, they prevail more and more against the kingdom, just the kingdom of Canaan, until they have destroyed the kingdom of Canaan, and they die, and they devour and bara the son of Adam on that day, saying, that one is the song, the other one is like, it's 25, leave the song, the song, they sang him for God, they sang song for God, to tell you, no, not, not to bring the song, not bring the song, to tell you, anytime, God gives you victory, what will you do? I don't know what the people are understanding what I'm saying. Yes, yes. You sing, you praise him. After God delivered them and sold them back to them, and they fought them and overcome them and prevail. What they do to us? They sing. You need to praise God. You glorify him. You are cooking food for him. You are cooking for him. He's favorite. You sing for him. You sing every day. The problems you're having problems, you commit sin every day. You don't have to ask for forgiveness for one particular sin. Because it's sin that brings problems. Disobedience, it can be disobedience from what you are saying or what your action or from the command of God in the Bible. What thing God commanded the Bible for you to do and not do it, it can be sin. A commandment you give to churches and not do it, it can be sin. It can give that some devil. Until you come back to Christ, he will empower you to fight them. So as you are hearing today, someone, anything that you are committing that may give, give the kingdom of darkness power to fight you, God is forgiving you right now in the name of Jesus. And he's sending them back to you and he give you the power to fight them and it will hurt them and they will release your blessings in the name of Jesus and that sin that you're sending that makes them to have power to fight you may God open your eyes and deliver you see the normal in the name of Jesus the Bible says that's why I said that one well, we can speak to God, just quickly bring it up and then we just only read it. I have explained it before. Matthew 12. I just want to read it. I have explained it before. How would the evil spirit of bread? This is the Old Testament about God and this way like New Testament work spirit. Because Bible says, now we can we put our welfare are no more canal. That time it was cut as God went to fight with people, they will use sword, pyam, kill. He fights face to face before. If God wants to punish you, pyam, he will send some enemies, they will use knife, pyam. But now, Jesus said, it's no more carnal. But it's now what? Spiritual. Pulling down strongholds. And that spiritual is this. You are seeing now in the screen. Jesus don't fight you now, this guy. He fights you now through the kingdom of darkness. When you stop him, when you stop him, you power them, they will destroy the person. And when you come back, he will recover you back. And he will give you power to fight them. And then over there, they have stolen all this, he will bring it back, he will recover. This is why they see God very, very dangerous. They call God the dreadful God, very dreadful. And Bible says in 43, it says, Matthew 12, when unclean spirit is gone out of a mouth and passed through the waterless presses, Seek your rest and fight them because any place where God is born again, they can't enter. Then he said, I will return into my house. He will speak. I return into my house where I come at that place, they push you out. Then when you get, he find that place, sweep, sweep and empty, sin again. It becomes comfortable for him. And he goes there and takes himself, brings seven more spirits, more wicked than himself. Then enter there and dwell there. The condition becomes worse than the beginning. The last state becomes that worse than the first. Input generation. It's not your portion in Jesus' name. Amen. And this means that evil spirit that gone out of you will not return again in Jesus' name. Amen. When they go through dry places and come back to you, they will see yourself as they dry again in Jesus' name. Your body will be dry for them again in Jesus' name. It will not be garnished again for them in Jesus' name. They will go back to sender. God will send them straight to our base in Jesus' name. And free from sin problem. Problem of the whole world. Sin. Sin, 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 sin. And Bible says, again, in Jonah 14, for you to know anything that comes fast, goes fast. Anything that comes fast, goes fast, goes fast, goes fast. How to have patience. Anything that comes so easily goes. When the blessings of God takes time, when it comes, it relaxes. When you go to Jonah, this is the story of Jonah. I didn't, I didn't put it from the video, just let me brief it for you. No, Jonah, when he God told him to go to the neighborhood to go and preach them against the sin. What did I tell them that he wants to punish them? Do you 
I said it's not going. Why? He said he knows God. I know you. And when I go, I said them now you are going to do them this thing. When they ask for forgiveness, now you forgive them. They say I'm a liar. I'm a prophet. Of, I'm a liar. I'm a liar prophet. I'm not good. He said, God, I know you. Because they know God will ask forgiveness. You not punish again. That's why Jonah refused to go. He wanted to run. He decided to run out of Tashish. And what happened? God will prepare a very beautiful fish to swallow him because of disobedience. The fish swallowed Jonah. Eh? Swallowed Jonah for three days. When they went, when, why did you say Swallow Jonah? You know, you don't know the story. They were inside the king, traveling when he wanted to run away from the face of God. And there was a very big wind. The wind was too much. And people that he was staying with the king are unbelievers. They were unbelievers. They said, Where is this wind coming from? Who is this devil? Who is this evil here that is causing this problem? They said, Okay, what are you going to do now? And Jonah knew, knew that it was because of him that God is with that because he refused to go and preach. They said we went from bottom to Any place person, it didn't. They didn't click. You know the person. They met when it was Jonah. They said, so it's you. It's because of you. He said, tell us the story. I said, what do you do to God? I know that it's the God of Israel that is doing this thing. What do you do? Jonah told them the truth. And I was told to come preach. I said, I They said, what? They said, Jonah told them, okay, what would you do? Throw me inside the river. They said, yes. They went there. They would just carry on. So that imagine they told over Israel, but what happened? The wind did it what? Stop. So it's God that was really because he refused. God brought that wind because of Jonah to go back. They put the children inside the river. The wind stopped the wind. They have to last successfully. So when the wind stopped, the poor brothers, God back said, God prepared a very big fish. The fish came and swallowed Jonah. He prayed inside the Jonah bed of the three days. He stayed there and prayed, and God made the fish, the fish swallowed him up. So when Jonah came out, I went and did the preaching. So after preaching to lead them, God said, we kill you, we destroy you, how many days? And the children have been dead in the bed. They entered first and cried. And God forgave them. Jonah said, I said it. This is why I said, I don't want to cry. He said, because I know God. If he asked for forgiveness, Jonah was angry. That's why we are coming here now. So he went and stayed inside the sun. Son, kill me. Kill me. They said, I'm a prophet of lie. God said, you got to tell me to do that. They ask forgiveness, they are forgiving them. Kill me. What well, Jesus did, God did. God came down and saw the Jonah when he was lying in the sun, punishing himself. He went and prepared a very warm, warm tree, warm big tree, just grow upon a light. Big wow, with good. And surrounded Jonah, become an umbrella. And Jonah didn't know where that, how that tree grew. He was enjoying it, enjoying it. He relaxed. This is the best as I was saying that I God kill me. I want to stay inside God. Jesus God came and prepared a tree. Tree, a big tree. So when he was enjoying that tree, because that sun bites very hot, because God made that sun to be very hot, it was biting him and he was Bible said John I wanted to die because it was too hot. God prepared that tree, tree covered them. And what happened? The next morning, the, the whole tree with that. Disappeared. The whole thing fell. Everything just like he went down. So it went down. And Jonah was angry. And when that with that God made that sun to become more hot. This is why we came here. And Jonah was angry because God removed the wind. Three. And God said to Jonah, Thou have thou has had regard for the ground which has not leveled. He went to enjoy that tree you did not level. Eh? You didn't ask how it's coming. Before he said, what is the sun to kill you? Eh? I brought you a tree, cover you now, tree is out, you are angry. And what did God tell him? God said, neither you, thou have no regard for the ground which thou has not leveled, neither made it grow. You do not know how to grow. Bible said, God told Jonah, which came up in the night and perished in the night. Anything that comes so easy, God says, he tells us that that tree came in the night, I'm perishing at night. Normally before a tree grow, it takes years. Some takes mango, orange, ten years, five years. So then anything that comes fast, it goes fast. You have to have patience. Gee, God has told you that it came in the night and it perish in the night. So if it comes so fast, it goes so fast. You get five million, it finishes in one month. Somebody gets one million and become 50 million in one year with blessing, patience. Somebody gets five million. You don't have with patience, you got it in a full way. Highest one year or two years, it finishes. Another person will get only 500,000. It will patient. Another one year, it becomes 50 million. So anything that comes easily, goes easily. For you to know, God said it here. It comes, you have patience. That's why Jesus said, endurance and what? Patience. Because when you patient, then you fall in a good ground. It will have a very big foundation. 
Nothing will shake it. God will give you the grace. He will make your foundation to be strong. Any blessing that you come will not go away like that in Jesus' name. Yeah. Your blessing will not come in the night and go in the night again in Jesus' name. Yeah. Any blessing you get will remain permanent in Jesus' name. Yeah. And again, you have patience. That is free from sin. For you to know that God is patient. Avoid sin. And Bible says again, in Matthew, okay, we have, I, I, I explained it before, just let me read it for them. 17, let me just explain it to them. No, read it, I've explained it before, so that they will see it. In Matthew, and Bible says, this is when the disciples were casting out the demon, they couldn't cast it, cast it out, and Bible said, and they came, they came up, when the disciples came to Jesus apart and said, apart means privately, because the evil spirit couldn't go out. They asked Jesus, why could we not cast it out? I just said unto them, because of your little faith, but then I say to you, if you have faith as a grain of mustard seed, you say unto this man to remove from here to here, it shall remove and not shall be impossible unto you. And Bible, Jesus said to them again, but this kind go ahead now out, except by praying and fasting, this kind, so that say that spirits are not the same. The spirit that are preparing you and spirit that are preparing the other person is not the same. Maybe this person wants to do such thing, we follow him too. You don't know that you that wants to follow that person, the human spirit in you is that of this kind. Many people are suffering from this kind. Many disciples of just there are people that didn't deliver us, it was going now smoothly, smoothly. And they were the they handled the pure and the demand will fall and disappear. But this one didn't go, this kind. You don't know the ones you're having. If you're having this kind, God will remove it to me in Jesus' name. Amen. Because this was, as the Bible said, Jesus came immediately, Jesus commanded that spirit. Pyah! The evil spirit left immediately. Every evil spirit that is being because you can hindrances we live today in Jesus' name. Amen. And the Bible said again, you have to rebuke the demons. You, you need to rebuke them. Jude 1 9. This one is talking about the body of Moses. When Moses died. You know, when Moses was a leader in Israelite. It's true that prophets will disobey God. A prophet can be angry. It's not your judge. Don't judge for God. Bible said, judge not, lest you be judged. Because when you are judging others, making God to remember your faith that he has forgotten long ago. That place, judge, Bible said in the uh, book of uh, Judge Not. Because when you are judging another person, the case, your cases that God has forgotten, you bring it out. They say, okay, you are judging that. Okay. Those are abortions you did. Those are those that is committed, those the cry of that baby, I make those babies to be crying very, very hard. So that you use it to prepare you. That atrocities you did. That's what they have judged us. And preaching them, don't judge anybody. When you're doing that, you're breaking punishment to yourself. It's making God to remember your presence and fight you. And when you fight, you have promise unto you. That's why I told you, many people have problems because you have not asked for forgiveness for a particular issue. Why? It can be an issue of somebody you judged is preparing you. You are asked for forgiveness on others, but you just don't mind saying, judge not. You never ask for forgiveness and say, God, I judge this person for you. Because it's meant God to bring out your fight. Say, when you judge that person, it's meant it to be judged. The one God for God, he remember you to punish the person. This is the Moses, the leader of Israel. Like, he has your business. The problem of disciples of God and servants of God is between them and God, not you. You know? Bible, God didn't write Bible only for pastors, not everything. As a pastor, as a man, come. come. Did the day of God write Bible? The only part was going to have fire. You, you are not seen. Have you removed it? Bible says, remove the flock in your eye and before they read another person. Oh, no, you want the problem? I said, Pastor, someone. I said, Man, thank God. This is a servant of God. He went to heaven. It's not your business. Leave God between them and God. That is the, between the servants of God. It's not your business. Your business is come to receive your blessing. Anything you observe, go leave it it's between them and God. This is the most it's very important. Don't pray with them. Don't speak with them. Don't make negotiation with the evil spirit. Some people make negotiation. When they have problems, they go to select. They go to this uh, uh, searches that use this uh, rich, rich. You are making negotiation. You need to rebuke them. That's why in Christ Jesus, Jesus said, I give you what? Authority and power to trample my person and scorpions. Over all the power of the enemy. He said, it shall not by no means do what? Hurt you. You will rebuke. That's how you used to criticize you. That's how you rebuke. You can most bring that stuff out. Rebuke you can lose your blessings it's come to you. God will give you the grace to use this your mouth to be asking for forgiveness and be rebuking and be losing in the name of Jesus. Stand up as we are going to pray. Begin to ask for forgiveness. Anything 
that you have committed that you make God to hand you over your enemies. Please bring water for me. That will make you to be handed over to your enemies. So that they will speak. Ask for forgiveness that is going to start going to pray. The power of God is going to sell those your enemies back to you now. You prepare them, they will still fire. Begin to pray, begin to pray, ask for forgiveness because say hey, it's Genesis of problems. When you are being forgiven today, you see your blessings will come back to you. You will sell them back to your hands. It's a merciful power. You do not change. Father, let us forgive. Pray, Master, to the power of God. 